doctors are such morons when it comes to understanding this. You can't, you don't want to lower your estradiol. You don't need to be checking it. The serum level is not is not indicative of your tissue levels. And I know people don't like hearing that. We've made that video. I've given the backup files and evidence and all these things. Checking that serum level is nearly useless unless it's maybe at zero. Um, but as far as any other levels, when you're not blocking it, it's not useful because it's not telling you what you think it is. And so you, you don't need to check it, number one, because that's the first thing I see with guys is they got it in their head that they got to check it. And it's always going to be over normal when you're taking testosterone. When your free T is high where it should be when you're feeling good your your serum e2 is going to be high it will be i mean 99 percent of the time and that's not that's normal that's that's how the serum level reads it's still not telling you whether you're having quote unquote high estrogen issues because estrogen is made in the tissues the testosterone has to get into the tissue first then it's converted so what you're getting in the serum is not indicative of what's in your whatever organ you pick or tissue you want to pick where it's being converted by aromatase specifically for that tissue for its needs. And so that's the biggest point that people need to understand. And I saw a guy recently, somebody screenshotted it for me from another group, a TRT group on Facebook saying that, Oh, Dr. Grant's just making that up. No, Dr. Grant doesn't make things up. I do not. I, I may do a lot of things, but I will not lie to people and I will not make things up. That's why we did the video and I posted the papers. So if these people have an issue with that, they can contact the author of those papers and, and figure out what's going on. But it makes sense if you think about it, right? Like the, the aromatization process is not happening in the bloodstream. It's not the testosterone is not magically converting to estrogen as it floats around in the blood. It's got to get into the tissues. And same with DHT. It gets into the tissues, converts. So stop chasing the number. And just once you get that out of your head and you understand this, you forget about it, you'll feel better, honestly. I mean, I've had so many guys where I just have to talk them down and say, stop checking it, stop it. The, the normal estradiol ranges that are given on lab work were not made for men on TRT. Those are baseline ranges. They have nothing to do with where anything should be when you take an exogenous hormone. That is another point we have to drive home. And doctors are such morons when it comes to understanding this. How they don't understand that an exogenous substance, the ranges don't matter anymore because those ranges weren't made for people taking exogenous substances. Those are baseline levels that they try to correlate with things. So just we chase blood work way too much. We really do. That's the, that's the gist of it. Give this video a like and visit the shop test store for your supplements, insulin syringes, disinfection alcohol pads, and 10 milliliter glass vials. Also check out my new ebook, Acne on TRT.